Hey, what's up everyone? This is Man Talk episode 23. I'm out here in the mountains with my wife, Jenny. Man with a woman talk. Yeah, that's right. And I love coming out here with her and we get to see stuff like this. Yeah, that's one way we like to connect is getting out in nature. Mm -hmm. So Jenny doesn't know what I'm about to ask her, but I already thought about it. And it is for men out there, how do you how would you like to be dealt with? Because you're you're a sensitive woman, you have needs. What's what's the, the best advice you could give a man if their partner is is sensitive? Or is they're experiencing a moment of sensitivity? Yeah, I would say what's popping up right now is that if you're with a woman who you might call her emotional or too emotional or whatever, would be in those moments to actually see if you can turn your attention inside and see if you can be open to or willing to seeing your emotion in that moment. So as you're observing her being sensitive or emotional, what are you actually experiencing yourself? It might be fear, sadness, anger, shame, uh, frustration, you might have stories of judgment. Um, and I, I can jump in here too, because like mm -hmm. when Jenny has an emotional experience, if I'm not really tapped in, I'm gonna be frustrated or annoyed might be some of the words that I use, but I'm really having my own emotional experience here that I'm trying to press down mm -hmm. and not really feel. Yep, and if you're out there trying to, if you're like outside of your body trying to fix her emotion um, or trying to logic you through it or her through it, then it usually won't work very well because emotions are always information about the internal world. So they're not really, they're not really a reflection of what's true factually. That's where logic and data comes in. But every emotion has a purpose and every emotion is valid. And you're not going to be able to help support her emotionally until you start to actually be tapped in and tuned in to your own emotional experience as well. Yeah, and that's a tough one for guys like women a woman's having an emotional experience and I want to go in and logically fix it. Well, let me like move the pieces in order to make it so you don't feel what you're feeling anymore. And, and that can feel like I'm invalidating your experience. Mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't work very well. Yeah, it's just not effective because you're, you're trying to talk, a it's like a different language and you're yeah. approaching an issue from logic that's not really what the issue's about. So she might think on some level it's about logic and she might be projecting it that way. And that's why men often try to fix it that way as yeah. well. So, you know, a woman has her work to do here as well, but the, but the most effective thing you can do is start to feel your own feelings, start to make space for your own fear and frustration, and then see if you can just start to make space for her. Yeah, I like that advice, Jen. Thanks yeah. for sharing. Yeah, and if you're getting stuck and you're like, oh, we're trying to fix this and it just isn't working, that's usually a cue that there's something emotionally going on uh, mm -hmm. that you're not tapped into, you're not aware of. And sometimes it just takes some time. Yep. Uh, to really let that stuff come up and it takes some effort too. But even changing the mindset to like, maybe this isn't logical, maybe this is an emotional thing. Yes, and it needs to be dealt with and seen emotional. Yeah, I like how the sun just came out. I know. It's so pretty, Jen, with your hair blowing in the wind. Well, that's the man talk for today. Thanks. Bye.